Hello guys, so, um, I don't know what I did that with my fingers for. It kind of reminds me of a Simpsons episode where Homer <laughs> is doing that fucking, <laughs> he's singing. He's like, and Grandpa's watching, he goes, young Homer's going to make me a millionaire. And then he's singing, oh, do I win pride? And he goes, ah, and then his fingers snap where Christ was born. Fucking hell. Have you noticed 10 seconds and I'm already um, caught in The Simpsons? I was going to do the second part of that John Dupé, uh, John Dupé, can't say to Dupé, John Dupé video, right? But I was pissing around with it and after, it takes a lot of, well, it doesn't take a lot, it takes a bit of pissing around with. I've had to re-download the video in better quality and I just couldn't be fucking arsed. So um, I thought, I didn't want to waste the opportunity to make a quick video, so I thought what I'd do is just dip into the chat log. And the reason you can see my ugly mug is because I was going to do like a visual reaction of the of the dupe one. Uh, so I just thought I'd keep it. Just let, you know, sometimes, I think some people kind of like seeing my reaction to it. Uh, so anyway, um, if you don't, just listen to it. Some people just have it on like in the background, don't they? Uh, so, anyway, as you can see, we've got my most favourite worded document in the world, ever, the Holy Lornography. And I don't even know what part this is. I just, uh, before I start recording, just thought I'd dip in and just see what, uh, oh, hang on, and just see what insights we could get. Okay, right, um... Okay, go take a shower right now and get in your PJs and I'll wait. I have to go pee and get another cup of coffee too and I can work on my sight thingy. <laughs> his sight thingy? Well, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, he's technical at all, isn't he? You know what I mean? His sight thingy. Until you get back, okay, okay. What's the other stuff you have to do? Jeez, don't you know anything about girls? Um, what do you reckon, guys? Does Lorne know anything about girls? I would suggest not. Not that I do, but I would suggest he, he fucking knows even less. Uh, shave my legs and dry my hair and well stuff. Okay, lol. Do you have your own bathroom? Yes, do you have a lock on your bedroom door? Oh, well, I mean, it's quite obvious why, you know, why he wants to know. Hang on a minute. Do you have your own bathroom? Yes. Do you have a lock on your bedroom door? I, I think maybe he's saying that because he, he wants her to do all this experimenting in there and do this, that and the other in privacy and that she can't get caught maybe when they're talking online and stuff like that uh, no oh damn why well because we don't want your parents to come in your room while you're in the shower and see me all the stuff that we've been talking about in other words he doesn't want to get caught they won't right no it's early and they're watching TV okay if you think it's going to be safe but remember we need to be extra careful so dot 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 Delete your archives, then when you come back out of the bathroom, you can turn my cam back on. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love it how there's like, just a little I love you, love yous. You see, he's not got a response there for 19 seconds. So, oh no, I tell a lot, sorry, I didn't see that. Um, 20, oh yeah, 19 seconds, so Kayla said K. And then nothing, the conversation has gone stagnant then, hasn't it? So he said, I love you. Because he's kind of given her, a, he's given her an order there, hasn't he? Delete your archives. Then when you come back out of the bathroom, you can turn my cam back on. Okay. He's, he's telling her what to do, isn't he? Um, and then he's not got anything back, so he's throwing out the I love you bullshit. Love you. Don't take too long doing your stuff, though, please. I miss you a lot. I don't even like letting you go right now. It's kind of interesting because it's all about... Because he's so insecure... 
What was I listening to before? I was listening to um, one of those actualize.org videos. Um, I don't know if you were of them, and it's just talking about like how everything that you do is um, a variation of survival. Everything. Everything. Um, even the silliest thing like that you can imagine, it's all based around your survival and your need to survive. And me doing this video, for instance, would be my need to entertain myself, to keep busy, because the entity that is me, which is a ghost really, um, we don't need to get into that, needs things to do, needs to be entertained myself. <laughs> um, it's all about survival, and Lorne's survival is that he needs to feel valued, uh, he doesn't want to let, you know, he, he needs this relationship, doesn't he? It's what's... Be interesting what... Let's just say... I wonder where, what, what sort of path he would have gone down had he not um, been caught. But with regard to this... Don't too, take too long doing your stuff, though, please. I miss you a lot. It's... it's it Basically, if he, let, if, he, if he didn't have this relationship, he wouldn't have anything. So it's giving him his sense of... Uh, part of his sense of identity at the minute. So his very basic survival needs, you know, we all have survival needs like, you know, food, shelter, love, well, companionship, which is what he's getting here. It's the only real feeling of closeness that he has, but it's, it's an illusion, like it's not real, but yet he's convinced himself that it is. And that just shows you, that's proof that if you've got the right state of mind, you don't really need... He's created it. It's not real. So, if you have the right mindset in any situation, you can get through anything. If you can approach things the right way and become self-aware. Um, don't take too long doing your stuff, though, please. Question mark, question mark. I, I think it's quite important when you have a double question mark. Rather than just the one, which is like a standard... But like if you started texting a girl or a bloke or whatever... And you was asking her questions with it, you know, I fucking hate that, you know. I've started, like, over-analysing it lately. Because I'm always like, well, not always, but, you know, whenever I meet somebody new and I'm, like, texting them or whatever, I'm, like, overthinking what I'm going to say. Not that I'm going to slip in, kind of, she, you know, can you think about me in the shower or any of that, or will you do some experimenting tonight? Uh, but, obviously, you want to, you know, it's like text psychology, and there's the sort of tendency to overthink things. Um, I always do really well when I'm not trying at all. Like, it seems pretty obvious, really. But, like, my sort of... How can I put it? Um, the most tension I've had recently is with people that I'm not even trying it... Uh, to sort of... Well, I might as well. I don't give a shit. I'm, you know I'm quite open about things. But, like, there was a couple of girls that I was knocking about with recently. And I, initially, when I met them, I didn't really think I had a fucking chance with them. Um, so I wasn't even trying. Um, I thought, oh, they're way out of my league. And the fucking, yeah, they were both quite into Anyway, what was the point of that? Oh, yeah, so, um, anyway, the point is, when you sort of meeting someone, no. Because texting and text talk, and it's become part of who we are as a species it's really disturbing can i recommend as well i have to get the mirror on it that book which is fucking brilliant um it's all about this kind of stuff and about how, how we're living in a digital bubble and you know how little words are in communication i think it's like what was the actual like 20 percent word the words are actually so when you're messaging someone, how much of what you're trying to convey is lost is really like disturbing. Um, it's like I was going to send, I had to bollock this guy at work. And I was just before I left today, I was like writing out this email. But I thought, I can't be fucking arsed with this. Because as I was reading it, I was thinking, this could come across quite arsy. But I don't mean it to be arsy. So I went down to see him, but he wasn't in. So I have to wait for his next shift. So I go and, I'm going to go and see him face to face, like, and say, what the fuck are you playing at, like? 
rather than sending a pissy email. Um, but with regard to the whole ironography, all we have is the text. We don't have the body language and the tone. Uh, what was it like? Body language, tone, context. So all these different things. But I just think that when you write in this, if you're in a, you know, let's just say you're messaging someone and you say, would you like to go out for a drink with me tonight? Question mark, question mark. That question mark, that one question mark, the extra one, could be the difference between you getting... Fuck, that reminds me. Uh, that could be the difference between you getting ghosted and being maybe someone saying, yeah, all right, that one question mark. Oh, he's put two question marks. This guy's fucking desperate. Isn't it weird? Um... So, with regard to this, don't take too long your... Don't take too long doing your stuff, though, please. So, it's a, quest it's a question rather than it's an order. I miss you a lot. I don't even like letting you go right now. K. Okay. I won't. Okay, thank you, my precious princess. Don't cut your legs shaving, though. I won't. Okay, hurry and get back, please. Yeah. Okay, delete them again. <laughs> K, K, done. Lawn. Don't log out. K, K, thank you. Precious, I need to take Bud to pee. Be right back. Hey, I tell you what, that's took him a while, hasn't it? He's been gone. So he lived in his apartment, so we had to take the dog out. Would it take like five minutes? Hmm, I wonder if he was doing something. Maybe he was talking to one of the others. I miss my girl. Oh, hang on. I'm back, Precious, and she's not there. Um, and then she's come back, so they've not been talking for like well over half an hour. Did you miss me? Yes, I did. I was praying you get back here soon so I could stop thinking about what the hell they were talking about on that site I was just on lol it's confusing to me I was praying you get back here so I could stop thinking what the hell they were talking about on that site I was just on it's confusing to me I wish I could have helped you take a shower what, what's he going on about do I have to go back and find out oh was he on about that website thingy I think was he trying to like set up some kind of he was trying to do something in relation to work, wasn't he? Trying to get his CV uploaded or something. Something like that, wasn't it? It's confusing me. That's not surprising. I wish I could have helped you take a shower. You could have just stood there and I would have washed you. Mm. Mm, I'm not a baby. I don't need help <laughs> washing. <laughs> Fuck. Well, well done, Kayla. Um, have you noticed? I don't know, like, we ourselves, and we all do it, we have created the character of Kayla in our minds, haven't we, as lawnographers? We've got, you know, like when we do the voice and we go, Kay, thank you. You know, we all, we've created Kayla as a character, just like Lawn did. Um, it's crazy, isn't it? That's why I always like, when I try and do the chat log, it's like what I know, like, is character was in question i don't know exactly what went on but i used to listen to a lot of nathaniel trevor's videos and he um he used to like talk about kayla like she was a real person he knew that she wasn't but you create this character don't you and sometimes you kind of consciously forget or subconsciously forget that she's just just she's not a real you know not not a real person not a real girl there um so that's sometimes I always try and you know approach it from like oh why did the decoy say this and say that you know what I mean I just think it's quite an interesting point you know um, um, I'm not a bit okay I know but it would be fun for me <laughs> well it's, yeah so yeah we know that we know that uh, we're gonna wash each other in the tub right sorry can you hear me all right um, uh, we're going to wash each other in the tub, right? Or are we just going to lay in the tub together in our bubble bath? Cool. 
I love bubbles. Did you forget about out bubble bath? What are you doing, precious? Hang on. Oh, right, okay, she's not responded, has she? So, did you forget about our bubble bath, lol? And then no response for a good few minutes, and then she comes back thinking about our bubble bat bath. Are we going to wash each other or are we going to lay in it together? I just, I love just laying in a bubble bath. Okay, but I still have to at least wash your boobs, butt and vagina. Okay, just for another excuse to touch them. Lol, I'll be kissing you while I wash them though. It's just, it's just, it's just his fantasy, isn't it? He's, he's. It's, it's his chance to type out his fantasy. Um, cool. Hey, I just thought of something. What? Crap. You thought of crap? Hey, I'm not the one who works with poop. Good point. Yeah. The 18th is a Thursday. Yeah. You have to. You have school on the 19th, right? I'm going to have to skip school Friday. You'd have to get a note from your parents because of missing school on Friday, though, wouldn't you? I will tell my parents when they get back I didn't feel good Friday, so I didn't go. When they get back, I didn't go. Hmm, that's quite interesting. And I've never really touched upon this before. With regard to him doing what he's doing and, and potentially, like, kidnapping this person, that's not a good idea to make us skip school. Let's just say that, you know, he got caught. <laughs> of course he did. But let's just say that it, Kayla was real. Uh, getting her to skip school wouldn't have been very good from an evidential perspective, would it? And it also... I mean... With regard to the evidence that we have now, with regard to the chat log and him showing up, it doesn't really make that much difference. But if you think about the position, the mindset that he was in, and him trying to not get caught, getting her to skip school is fucking stupid. You know, you're taking a girl out of school, you in essence, kidnapping her, and you're going to commit... That, I don't like saying that word, but you, you're going to commit child molestation. I just think it's a really stu stupid move. <laughs> do, do you understand what I mean? I will tell my parents I didn't feel good, so she's going to miss school to go gallivanting. He's not even, it's not even the alarm bells haven't even started ringing at that point, have they? He's getting a 13-year-old to skip school so that he can kidnap her. And then... You know, abuse her, sexually abuse her. I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Okay, lol. And that's all his responses. Ooh, my tummy hurt. Lol, real bad. My head too. My head hurt so bad. Yeah, you can tell them that, but what's really going to be happening is I'm going to be... I'm going to be sticking my penis in your... And then a smile. Are you going to love it? Yay, yes. Are you going to be touching my penis the whole time you're here? Prolly. Smile. Good, because I'm going to be touching your just about the whole time you're here too. I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm anxious to put my hand on your vagina. It's like I've got a whisper of hand on your vagina. <clears throat> oh, it's, this is great, isn't it? You know, the conversation with himself. I'm anxious to put my hand on your vagina. Are you anxious for me to touch it? Yep. Do you wish I could be touching it right now? <laughs> yep. Do you wish I could be sticking my penis <laughs> Yeah, smile, kiss, I love you, I love you. It's just, oh, uh, it's... 
Lawn and Lawn. That's all that's going on, isn't it? Do you have your PJs on right now? Oh, Jesus. Uh, do me a favour. What? Stick your finger in your... <laughs> for me a couple of times. K. How does it feel? K. How does it... Hang on a minute. How does it feel? K. And then exactly the same. Again, he, he just... He wants so much from her, doesn't he? He wants to know. He's, he's really getting off on this, isn't he? Y you know... It, it, just don't fucking get it well I do get it he's, in, he's attracted to what he thought was a 13 year old that's getting him sexually excited and I suppose you know I think it's been touched upon in some of the new calls it's been said to him and you know and that, that documentary I uploaded about you know it's a genetic thing isn't it you know, you can't help what you're attracted to. Isn't it, like, uh, concerning that maybe any one of us could have been born like that? Do you know what I mean? It's like that documentary. If you haven't checked it out, guys, there's a doc documentary on um, my channel. Um, you only have to go back a few months. Let me just get the title of it for you. Um, I'm sure it's still up there. Thought it get got taken down. It's on Netflix, but I uploaded it to my channel. Um, oh, fucking hell, I did. Oh, the paedophile next door. Um, it's brilliant about this guy who admits he's attracted to children. He doesn't want to hurt a child, so he doesn't fall through in it. He tries to get treatment. I like, really felt for the guy. That's what I've always struggled with with these guys. It's like, if you're attracted to that, why do you feel that you need to act upon it? Like, do they can't they can't control the urges? It's, I just don't understand why you would think that that is more important than protecting an innocent person. But I suppose that's just what a bad person does, isn't it? They put themselves before anything else. Um. So anyway. How does it feel? K. And he's not got him what he's not getting what he wants, so he so he goes in there again. Lol, I said K. I mean, that's not what he wants at all. He's not getting anything. Oh, lol, I thought you meant K as in you were done. I am done. Is your vagina? It's, it. I don't know. Someone put um, a comment on the last video, I think, to say that, um, I think it was Clobber. I know Clobber in town has been doing the streams with the new, um, with the, like, the latest calls where he's actually, um... I think he's coughed to it. But he's coughed to it before, hasn't he? You know what I mean? I'm not saying that... He's kind of got... Anyway, maybe for another time we'll, we'll go into that. I don't know. I, I don't like... It's a bit of a strange situation, really. I find it really interesting. Um, why am I talking to my mic like you can see me there? Um, I find it really interesting. Who wouldn't want to listen to more lawn stuff? It's just like, I don't like think that, I think, like I said, I don't want to go into it and get involved in all the drama or anything, but I just think he should be left alone. So it's a bit difficult for me to start commenting on it too much because it's a weird one, really. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not like saying I'm right or anything. It's just my pers from my perspective, you know. It's like, just fucking let the fucker live ruin his own life kind of thing. But, I, you know, it's entertainment, isn't it? Um, I suppose it's like for this document I could go forever at this thing I could quite happily become a professional lawnographer if I could get paid enough that's why like I don't really I could you know do a bit more with this channel make more videos do more of these do more interrogations I just don't got the time um, Good. I love it when you watch me. Wish I could. How long have we got? We're at 24. We'll do another five minutes, can't we? 
Um, good, I love it when you watch me. I wish I could be watching you right now, though, too, though, yeah. Want me to get you a cam while you're here and you can install it while your parents are gone. Then just hide it when you're not on the computer with me. Hmm. I mean, I think we all know why he wants this, doesn't he? He's planning ahead so that he's going to do what he's going to do with her. And then in future, he, he thinks in his brain at this point, if you can call it that, that he's going to have his way with her. Um, and then to appease his sexual um, what's the word I'm looking for? Needs, shall we say. I can't think of the right word. He's just going to get her to do all sorts on cam in the future so that he can get off whenever he wants and then waits for the next time the parents have gone and he's obviously not you know these people don't think long term he hasn't got the wisdom to see that really he's only doing himself harm he doesn't he can't he's acting purely on this instinctual basis isn't he of like I need to alleviate my sexual frustrations and fulfill these bizarre attract you know and he's not thinking that what on earth i mean he's like oh it was messed up at the time well yeah okay but that's no excuse for lack of intelligence not even intelligence it's just very very basic you know it's crazy crazy so you know she's gone you know, they've spent however long together and then she's going to be on cam to him every night and he's going to get her to do all sorts. I mean, try not to let your mind wander too much, but can you imagine? I don't, don't, like I said, I've, I've sort of, I've sort of gone there, so I might as well carry on. Just imagine that, I mean, it's a ridiculous thing because it's like, you know, when you say like, oh, if Kayla was real. It's what a ridiculous thing to say. It's a bit like me saying, "Can you imagine if Luke Skywalker was real and me and him went out and did Jedi training?" It's fucking ridiculous. But you could you could say that. Well, okay, let's say that he met another girl. But let's just go into crazy world here. What is this bizarre world? Um, go into crazy world and say that Kayla was real. He had his way with her. Got what we believe would be his first contact, sexual contact with a child, although some people don't believe he's ever had any sexual contact. I'm not one of those. Um, and he got her, you know, he got his way with her. Got her, she got this camera, and then, um, can you imagine the kind of stuff? He wants her to stick a finger in herself now and this is before he's even met her can you imagine if he had his way with her what kind of stuff he would be getting her to do on cam and how more twisted would he become would he become one of the really worst ones would he get her to do all kinds of in fact let's not go there let's not go there let's not go there only because it's pointless theorising about that Luckily, I don't think he's ever going to get his way with, um, I just don't think he is, with a kid. And um, it's best not to let your mind wander in that direction. I must admit, there is a perverse kind of interest that I have in wondering how far he would actually go. This is how people start off usually, these people. You know, they start off with minor things like watching porn and then it gets more and more severe and then they start getting worse and then they start getting into all kinds of crazy things and then it gets to the production and shit and oh it's fucking sick man it really does fucking ugh. it's like oh anyway never mind <laughs> uh right okay you know what i'm gonna leave it there um yeah, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Just kind of a spur of the moment thing, like. I have to go anyway. Um, let
like I said, I was going to do that John Duke Pay one. I'm going to do that soon, and I'm going to do another stream with Shin's Koala soon. He's put got an idea for for Lawn and the Seven Deadly Sins, which is going to be really cool. And basically, everything that he's done wrong or he even did wrong during this chat log that accumulated with him becoming what he did and basically it's like how not to do things <laughs> uh, but guys yeah please I hope you've enjoyed it just like I said just a quick video I, it's nice to delve in and have a bit of fun with this every now and again although some of it can get dark but that's that's the beauty of this whole thing isn't it you know we've got such um, contrasting elements um, okay, so guys, thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.